there! My name is Simran, and I'm a paralegal here at Wilcock Law and Notary Public, and I'll be talking you through what an affidavit is step by step today. Affidavit is a written declaration or a statement of facts that a person swears under oath to be true. An affidavit must satisfy legal or statutory requirements and be sworn or affirmed before a person who has the authority to witness or administer an oath, such as a notary public. Some instances that you may need to use an affidavit include divorce proceedings, property disputes, inheritance disputes, cases of debt, visa applications that need to be made without essential documents, what does the execution of an affidavit entail? Firstly, the affidavit needs to be drafted in the correct format as is required by the intended country that your affidavit will be used in. Then, the author writes a true and accurate statement of the facts as understood to be true by themselves. The notary public then serves as a witness to the signed oath. This confirms that the person making the oath and signing the document is the same person who has been recorded as offering the affidavit. Our notary public, alongside your lawyer in the received jurisdiction, will ensure that your affidavit is executed correctly and that it has the best chance of being accepted in the intended foreign jurisdiction. It may be less costly to have an affidavit signed by another individual with the power to witness a note. However, this means that your document may not be recognized overseas, as only a notary public is authorized to witness documents meant to be used abroad. Depending on the intended country, it may be necessary to include an exhibit, appendix, or addendum alongside your affidavit. This may be a document or proof that references something in the affidavit. For apostille legalization, it's important to note that some foreign jurisdictions require an affidavit to be apostilled by the Foreign and Commonwealth Office and or legalized by an embassy. A document can only be legalized or issued in apostille if attested by a notary public. Once we have performed the Notarial Act, we can assist in getting your documents apostilled or legalized. Upon completion by the Foreign and Commonwealth Development Office, we can either return the documents to you or arrange a courier on your behalf. We strongly advise against using do-it-yourself legal websites. It's always best to have your notary public consult with your solicitor to ensure that your document meets your unique requirements. Many online sources offer free templates, but this comes with an array of potential disadvantages, such as are the document templates and the requirements up to date? Is it fit for purpose? Will the intended foreign jurisdiction accept it? Are they getting your personal information and collecting your private data? Will they pass it on to third parties? Can they be trusted? Usually no. Please do contact us on any of displayed channels. It's been lovely having you with us.